Okay, let's try an integral now. It's still improper, but having bounds at infinity. So something like this. Integral from 2 to infinity of x e to the negative x. And we'll make this a little more complicated. Negative 2x. Okay, so you can't really think of infinity as a number. So we're going to treat it the same way we treated the discontinuities. We're going to say the limit as b goes to infinity. And we'll change this to a integral from 2 to b instead, x e to the negative 2x dx. Now you just integrate it using the techniques that you've learned so far. You should be looking at this problem and thinking this is a nice integration by parts problem. So remember, we get to pick u, and we get to pick dv. And then we calculate du, calculate v. So u typically will let u just be the polynomial part of the problem. So u will be x, dv will be the rest. e to the negative 2x dx. Okay, so those were what we got to pick. The rest we have to calculate. So du equals 1 dx. And then v, now don't fall into the trap of having to do a u substitution here. Go oh, and if you need to, look at the, my other video on integrals and derivatives. And remember the shortcut is just to do e to the negative 2x divided by negative 2. And that's your antiderivative. You don't want to be doing a u substitution when you're wasting valuable time on your, <coughs> on your exam. So this becomes the limit as b goes to infinity. Remember our integration by parts formula is uv minus the integral of v du. So this is now x uv times e to the negative 2x over 2 minus the integral of v du. Be very careful, there's a lot of negatives floating around here. So just keep an eye out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this just to make it a little nicer. Remember, a negative exponent just means you can put that on the bottom e to the 2x. That's minus and minus become positive, antiderivative of e. I'm going to bring the one half out, may as well e to the negative 2x dx. So I've still got a little bit more integrating to do. Negative x over 2 e to the 2x plus 1 half. Now the antiderivative of this, we did a, little, a bit earlier. This is e to the negative 2x divided by negative 2. And then we're going to evaluate that on the bounds from original bounds were 2 to b. 2 to b. I'll clean up a bit. Negative x over 2 e to the 2x plus or minus 1 over 4. I'm going to bring this one down as well, e to the 2x. Evaluate that from 2 to b. So I get plug in negative b over 2 e to the 2b minus 1 over 4 
e to the 2b, the upper bound minus the lower bound, which is negative 2 over 2 e to the 4th, plugging in 2, minus 1 over 4 e to the 4th. This is minus. Okay. And now you can take the limit. Remembering that an exponential grows a lot faster than a polynomial. So this is going to go to zero. Same thing here. This is going to go to zero because the exponential grows incredibly fast and overwhelms the numerator. And then over here we have plus, cancel these twos, one over e to the fourth plus 1 over 4 e to the 4th. Let's simplify this a bit. This is 4 over 4 e to the 4th plus 1 over 4 e to the 4th. Just getting that common denominator. And this is, of course, 5 over 4 e to the 4th. Again, our integral goes to a number, approaches a number, so we say it converges. And it converges to this.